Hi again, so we just installed a brand new Cody. Now we're going to install the Aries Wizard. So we are going to go up to this icon here for settings. We want File Manager. We're going to add source and just click in the box and it comes up. Gonna type this one in H T T P colon slash slash Aries and now you need a dash. Back to ABC, repo, dot, E, U. Okay, we have to enter a name here. So I like to add special character, the dot is fine, and we'll name it Aries. That way with the special character of the dot, it will be at the top of the list, easy to find, and hit OK. So we're going to go back, there's the back button, back again. Now up the top, there's a box icon. Click there, install from zip file. We have to go to settings. Unknown sources, needs to be checked on. Yes. Show notifications, good. All right. install from zip file and there it is with our dot up at the top Aries. We want to click on the repository. Now you're going to wait for it. There you go. Add on installed. Now we're going to install from the repository Aries program add-ons. Aries Wizard, install. Okay, that's all set. Now we're going to launch it. Main menu, back, back, back. So now we're back on the main menu and you can see the Aries Wizard is right here. We're going to click on it. And there it is. Many, many options here. Browse builds, add-ons themselves, maintenance, backup, tweaks, and more. Aries Wizard is so easy to use. You can find all of your builds, all of your add-ons, maintenance, backup, tweaks, everything here. Um, you can delete the cache, which you should do. Occasionally the thumbnails, the packages, and the cache. Mine's brand new. It doesn't need to be done, but it's, it's a very good thing to keep it running smoothly. Up next, we'll be doing a build for Pulse with the Aries Wizard.